Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and I'm, show you, I'm here to show you how to use segments in the Freeform Analysis tool in the Analyst Workspace. What I want to do is I want to show you a few different ways um, that you can, you can filter your data using segments. So the first one that I'm going to start off with are global segments. So you can apply a segment to the entire panel or a whole set of reports. So in this case, I have a set of, I have a set of reports that measure the top pages here. And you can see the data table there. I also have some data tables on the device types and the countries. Um, so if I want to, I can come in here and I've created a segment uh, for US visitors. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that segment. And so what will happen now is you'll see that all of the tables will update. Um, so now in my countries, obviously the only country that I see is the United States, and you can see that everything else kind of moved around. These segments can be stacked, and so they will be ended together or made more restrictive. The, uh, I, could add, I could add a device type in here, so I could do like you know, mobile, mobile phone visit, visitors here. And now you can see that you know, my device types, there's only one showing, which is mobile phone, and I can see that the, that the data has been kind of filtered down quite a bit. That's one way that you can apply segments to a lot of different reports at once. Sometimes it's actually helpful to, to apply uh, multiple segments in the same report. And so here I have, again, just kind of a top pages type of view. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mobile phone visitors and apply it to my, to my visits metric. This will filter down just this, just this column to, to mobile phone visitors. If I wanted to, I could compare that to tablet visitors. Um, by adding in a new visits metric, and we'll just add this right here, and then um, coming back here and adding in the tablet uh, segment. So now you can see I can actually compare and contrast these side by side. If I update the graph to show the two, now I can kind of see which pages are have a have a higher propensity to uh, to be viewed on a tablet versus a mobile phone. Um, another way that we can we can use um, uh, segments, and this is one of my favorites, is that you can actually use them as dimensions. Um, and so what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a bunch of um, uh, segments here uh, for, for different visitor visit numbers. If we look at the definition, these are pretty simple. They're visit, um, visit number equals one, visit number equals two, and so on. Um, and this just represents you know, how many times has this person been to the site. And so if I start, if I come in here, I can actually add these in, um, and it will give me the, you know, the the view of this for just the segment as if it were a dimension. I'm going to go ahead and change the metric, and we'll do um, we'll do visits for this. Um, and so if I come back here, I can add, I can actually add more than one segment to the uh, to as a dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of these. If I just drop it in on, on where it says segments, it'll it'll append it to the list. Um, and now uh, we can see that uh, you know I can sort by this so that they're they're in alphabetical order. And now what I can do is I can start to compare this and say, okay, great. You know what? A majority of the visitors for the time range that I'm looking at are actually first-time visitors, um, which is pretty helpful. Um, additionally, we can bring in other metrics like a page. Uh, let's see, page view per visit metric. And so we can start to look at you know how the page views per visit um, actually actually change um, as as somebody comes back to the site. Um, if we if we bring in a, a, a visualization, sometimes it's a little bit easier to see this if I bring in a bar chart, and we can look at this and see for the segments that we have, um, you know how many how many visits are the are are on the first, second, and third, and so forth. Um, this graph is, is kind of helpful, but it shows us the same thing that it does down below. If I go ahead and enable the dual axis on it, now I can start to see that as my visit number increases, so do the a number of page views that I'm likely to consume um, increase. And so we can start to see that sometimes it's a little more valuable to get people to come back again, rather than just, just to try to increase their, the, the amount of visits and uh, the amount of page views that they have on a site. Um, which that you know that's that's that can be helpful um, to to be able to do uh, to comparisons like that or compare different segments across a bunch of different metrics. Um, additionally, what I can also do here is I can I can apply segments to the metrics um, as well. So now not only am I gonna I'm gonna remove this, but I'm gonna go in and do our mobile phone again. Oops. 
All right, so now we can see for my mobile phones, here's, here's the visit number that they're on. And I want to compare that to my desktop site. So I'm going to add in, add in our visit metric again. Visits. We'll add that in there right beside it and then go add one of my other um, segments here, this desktop visitors. And so now not only can I, I can kind of get this matrix of segments um, that can be really helpful. So I can see that, you know, my mobile phone visitors, are, though they may come for a first visit, they don't often come back quite in quite the same uh, propensity that my uh, desktop visitors do, and that can be, you know, that can be kind of some clues at places that I might be able to optimize in the future. All right, finally, we can add um, segments as breakdowns, and so if I, for a particular page, am interested in um, in how different uh, different groups of people perform, I can I can go ahead and uh, break these down. Let's do this. Do our visit number again here. Oops. So I can break this down by a segment, and so now I can see. Okay, of all of the people who came to this page, you know, 323 of those visits were first time visitors, and I can I can continue to to add things in here and of of those thousand people 105 were on their second visit and, and so forth and so I can use this as if I as if it were any dimension hopefully this has been helpful and we hope you enjoy using the freeform analysis tool